So here's a nice little bonus thing. I initially did not intend on doing any kind of 7 days stuff until Alpha 21 Stable came out. But I got burned out from this game a while ago and I just haven't touched it in almost over a year. So I've got a lot of rust to shake off. And honestly, I have basically everything to relearn about this game. I might know some basics, but I'm just going to say none of my previous knowledge matters. I needed to shake off some rust before Stable comes around. Because I think once Stable does come around, I probably will want to start up a new series, because it has been a while, and I have been kind of itching to come back. However, I thought it might be entertaining to just go ahead and document me trying to shake off my rust and uh, utterly getting obliterated by normal basic gameplay stuff in seven days. So don't come here expecting anything impressive or anything at all. Uh, I'm intentionally probably going to be doing this the hard way. For example, even though I haven't played this in a while, I have a little checklist of personal quality of life changes I like to make to the internal game files. Things that I've just sort of learned and picked up on after messing around with modlets and stuff. I did a short video, uh, I don't remember how long ago, maybe two weeks ago now. Back when 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 Experimental first came out, I was like, oh, this might be a good time to talk about this. I just quickly edited the quests XML to remove the traitor map limitations. I'm not going to make any other videos about these other changes that I made, but the changes that I made in that video can broadly be applied here in the same file location, just a different file. So the changes that I usually make are to the NPC XML. I like to align the trader factions. So I just put them all in the same team so that when you're progressing one trader, you're progressing all traders. I understand that for like roleplay purposes, this doesn't make sense. But for me, it's more of like a gameplay convenience thing. I know that eventually factions and story stuff will matter, but it doesn't seem to right now. The only form that takes in the game right now is making all of the traders progress separately. The next one is to the traders XML. I remove the open and close times so they're open 24 seven. For me, this is more just like, I don't like rushing, you know? It is something I understand can be abused. So it's just gonna be up to me to personally not abuse it, but I remove the open and close time so that I can just access the traders whenever I want. The next one is to the spawning XML. Uh, this is probably what's going to get me the most in trouble, uh, trying to shake off the rust here. Like if I really wanted to shake off the rust, I wouldn't make any adjustments and I would just play the game as is, but I can't help myself. So to the spawning XML, I increase the spawn max count and I decrease the respawn delay. So basically there's going to be more zombies running around and it's going to be pretty constant. Because of that, I'm probably going to play the game on a slightly lower difficulty than I might normally, just to just to make it a, a you know grant myself a, a small mercy. The next one is to the progression XML. This is just one of those weird things. I don't know why they did this, but to the mother load perk, the one that gives you more uh, resources when you're, you're breaking things, the other passive effect that that has is it decreases the amount of XP you get when you're gathering resources as you level up. Like So the further along mother load you go, you get less and less experience from stuff. I guess there probably is a reason, but for me, I want all my numbers to increase unilaterally. So for me, the adjustment that I make to mother load is that I just kind of rebalance the, uh, the player XP gain to be not negative. And then the last update I make is to the items XML, and that's just increasing the stack number. This one is probably the one that's a little closer to like actually cheating. But again, this is just a quality of life thing for me. But a lot of people play this game with mods anyways, and I have nothing to prove, so whatever. And those are all the changes. So I'm going to jump in. Uh, I did generate a new map. Because I, uh, all right, so I guess I should also talk about, oh, well, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to talk about all the updates they made. I will talk about, uh, I'll, I'll talk about them as they come. How about that? So the first one is that they apparently updated or upgraded their map generation. So where are you? Yeah, I think it's this one. I guess they improved the generation time. I don't know. I can't really compare. This took me about seven and a half minutes. Uh, it's a pretty balanced map from what I can tell. Uh, I tried to make it as even across all the biomes and stuff as possible, but I guess we'll see when we jump in. I'm gonna go just me. We're not gonna go adventure. How about nomad? 
So we've got a couple other difficulties, yeah, above this. And like I said, I'm going to be up against way more enemies than I should be. So I'm going to go Nomad. I feel, like that's, I feel like that's fair. I think the rest of these settings are probably fine. I'm probably going to die way before I even get to see a Blood Moon. Also, this recording, uh, I personally find the convenience of doing this recorded as opposed to streamed because I don't want anyone backseating me about everything I'm doing wrong. I like to properly learn from my mistakes, and uh, I suspect I'm going to be making a lot. The main thing I really wanted to get into with uh, you know trying to play this game again and shake some of the rust off is the flow. So for me, like I know a bunch of stuff about this game, but when you're actually playing it, you have to kind of get into a rhythm with it for progression and all that stuff. And I have entirely lost my sense of flow and rhythm with this game. So that's going to be like the main thing I'm shaking off the rust with. And with the zombie spawns, it's going to be trial by fire. Oh boy. So yeah, I think this is probably fine. Normally I would play with the zombie feral sense off, but I gotta tell you, I'm already going to be swimming in an ocean of zombies. Uh, I don't need any more attention. And the rest of this is fine. Yeah, I don't know if I want to fuss with too much of this. I'm already messing with the uh, custom settings. Yeah, let's just jump in. Ah, wakey wakey. Uh, this is probably mostly the same. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if I remember how to play this game. I'm just gonna try and blast through this here. I imagine this intro stuff is probably mostly the same. I'll take that. But all right, yeah, let's go ahead and try to remember all the hotkeys and stuff too. Oh yeah, let's get you, let's clean up this a little bit. Ba -ba -ba. I guess that's fine. Immediately pick you up and take you somewhere else. I don't like how close we are to this snow biome. Go up the trail a little bit here. Oh, we probably shouldn't be near this either. Oh boy. Oh, and I guess, yeah, might as well mention this now. One of the new systems is this uh, the learn by looting system. Other people have explained it better than I could, but basically I can influence crafting books that I pick up and loot more or less based on how I'm leveling. So if I'm putting points into, should we take a look at it right now? If I'm putting points into like Electrocutioner, I should be able to get, uh, yeah, crafting books. I should start seeing more crafting books related to or wherever, yeah, like robotic stuff, I assume. Yeah, I figure I'll probably want to lean into something hard rather than going widespread. Remember before, uh, my approach was kind of trying to be a little more jack of all trades, and I assume you can still do that. I'm kind of wondering if I can get away with min-maxing something. But, all right, yeah, it's, it's not waste too much time here. Uh, let's get a little more wood while we're standing around. Oh. Pants. Might as well get myself some other stuff as well. Oop. Club. I love how it's already just an absolute mess. Small stone. Is there like a boulder around or something? Oh, here we go. And I think to start, when I get the chance to, I'm probably not going to be building my own base. I'm probably just going to try and find a place to, to fortify. But we'll see. We'll see how far out in the boonies I am here. And speaking of what I want to actually put my points into, I think I actually want to go knives. 
That might be a terrible idea, but I remember liking knives, and that's enough for me. Uh, yes. Uh, not that many. I do like... Hold on. Like 15. Oh, let's also repair you. Wow, that lost degradation very fast. Or lost uh, durability. Is that like on the grass? Nice. Yeah, okay, so this is mostly all still the same. Then after this, I think I'm going to get the trader quest. Okay. You have proved you're capable. 688 meters? Alright. So if I want to go knives, I need bone, I think? Yeah. So I need to find, I, I need to either find a dead body or make a dead body. But here, let's take a look. So blades. Bone knife. Best boost loot odds with deep cuts. Let's go deep cuts. Oops. Gotta re relearn this whole navigation. There we go. Yeah. Uh, nope. One more. Probably the worst investment I could have made, especially since I currently have no knife. Anybody got any bones in here I can have? something. Hello? I plan on going to the trader, but I kind of want to... Oh, there's one bone. I kind of want to see if I can find some useful stuff. Oh. Hey, knife guy! Look at that! One already. Out of, like, a hundred. Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the rest of this will still be useful sell it or whatever. Ugh, no thanks. Hey bud. Don't mind me, I'm just uh looting your stuff. Improves food crafting. Okay. So wait, does uh does a food perk, does that not give you where is that? Master Chef. What does Master Chef do now? Use less ingredients and cook faster. All right, and I'm sure that's still worth it, but yeah, man, it's gonna be like learning how to play a whole new game. Oh. All right. Not my weapon of choice. Sorry, I'm going to be a little extra sloppy here. Hello. Clothing. Oh, right. One of the other new things they added was uh, you can actually attack through broken doors now. So let's see if I can take a peek at who's coming in. Hello. You're kind of short. There you go. I need you to back up, please. Take it easy on my stamina. I'm specked into knives. Can I have your bones when you're done with them? Yeah, yeah. Come on, stamina. Okay, okay. Vehicle crafting, medical crafting, nice, sure. Peril extender, oh, the schematic, sure, all right. I don't know how worth it it is to still just like go through all the trash. The music's doing something spooky, what the hell's going on? 
ma'am. Yes, I am breaking and entering. But I need bones. It's quite urgent. Well, this doesn't feel safe. Okay, cool stuff, but I don't know if uh, I'm going to be able to use too much of that. Sell it, I guess. Drugs, always good. Oh boy. Yeah, this feels like a bad idea. And I know one of the other selling points of this update is they added a bunch of new POIs, but that doesn't mean anything to me since I've forgotten most of them, so they're all going to be new POIs to me. Hello? Uh, can I just, like, pop this? Thank you. I know someone's in here. BD bottoms? Uh, yeah. Might as well. And I understand, at least previously, I assume this is still the case, when you start a new game, there's kind of like a grace period of either time or distance from your spawn location where they're not going to start spawning the environmental zombies. So the uh, increased spawn rates that I have set up won't really take effect. There's got to be someone in here. No? Well, here's the bones I need. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. More cooking, sure. I'm a little creeped out by how little attention I'm currently getting. I feel like this is the calm before the storm. Whoa, whoa! Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Legitimately scared the shit out of me. There we go. Ma'am. Oof. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Uh, do I want reduced mobility and stamina? Probably not. I'll probably be better off selling that. Ergonomic grip. Can that bone knife even take mods? Really? Sure. Oh, that's right. And mods just do flat, flat damage increases. Okay. I'll take it. Handyman? Repair tool? Okay. Is that it? Alright, yeah, let's, we're wasting enough time here. We gotta get to the trader. This looks like it's a lootable thing, but alright. Hello? Oh, there we go. Hello? Oh, did I grab my torch? Ooh, I want my torch. Hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. It's the only light source I currently have until I can make more. Alright. I expect I'm probably going to start seeing a lot more nonsense. So I got my bedroll. Let's move you over. Move you over. Uh, move you over here. Yeah, let's get another campfire and get a storage chest. Already encumbered, so I'm going to have to just kind of wing it. I will be careful not to pick up any new things. Try to grab... Oh, uh, alright, well, except for honey. If you can give me honey, I'll take it. I'll try and scan the horizon carefully here. I assume I'm eventually going to start... 
seeing a lot of zombies. And once I start seeing a lot of zombies, I'm gonna see only a lot of zombies for a long time. So hopefully, oh, I should probably get stuff to make tea too, right? I don't know if the effects of tea have changed. Is it still as good as it was? Chrysanthemum and water. Oh, I can't even make it anyway. All right, well, whatever. Here, maybe I can, can I sell these. Sell price nine. Sure. Take advantage of the relative calm while I can. Pick up you, because I don't have a lot of ammo. I do not wood. Yeah, I could definitely do it more wood. It's been so relatively chill. It's making me nervous. Oh, is that him right there? Oh, he booked it already. Oh, sudden cardboard box. Uh, yeah, alright. Another chicken. Oh, there's two. Okay. Well, my aim is terrible, so that's probably one reason why I shouldn't try. I can catch an easy one, like, chilling out. It's close. Hasn't noticed me. Oh boy, here we go. Alright. I am no longer safe. So now is kind of where I have to decide how much do I want to just keep fighting, keep running, because this is going to be a constant flow of zombies. Oh boy, oh boy. Can you let me take this quick? Honey, please. I'm not calling you honey. No honey. All right, well, here, I'll give you this instead. Okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's the uh, Nomad difficulty helping me out there, I assume. Oh yeah, boy, we got, we got attention. So I don't know who, who I'm rolling up on here, but I hope that little double tap quick door trick still works, because I'm gonna need it. The music stopped. Yeah, yeah, all right. I don't know, should I keep? Ooh, goodness. I was thinking like, should I keep trying to get XP while they're like away from each other? Like if they group up, I'm obviously not gonna fight them. Especially with a knife. But if they're all like separated, I don't know. If I'm still in good health and all that, I feel like I should probably. Oh, that's my dog. Okay, okay. I feel like I should probably try to keep getting XP. I don't know what dog's barking yet. Chicken. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Yes, and arrow. Thank you. Some meat. Feathers. So who is this? I do not recognize this at all. All right. Oh, I think the traders got an update too, so... Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, this looks like Rex's place. Okay. <sighs> Can't say I am happy to be here, but... 
let's see. Wow, yeah, this is like all different. Holy crap. I don't know, should I go talk to him first, or... I bet there's more stuff to loot than there was before. Right, the water system is the other thing that people are, uh... Passionate about. Uh... I guess I can just sell that. I don't know all the details about the new water system, but I know people are very upset about it, so... Yeah, I guess boiling water is gonna be... more important than ever, or something. And there's a new, uh... There's a new thing you can build. Yeah, what is it? Water. Well, water, sure, but I thought there was like a... Oh, the Dew Collector, that's what it was called, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is like this new thing. So, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Probably gonna have to rely on uh, just having a strong economy, just buying water for a little while. And part of that strong economy is gonna be looting all of Rex's stuff. Ooh, okay. Here's one issue I was not planning on with the uh, increased population. Uh, they may be able to get up over the wall. Uh oh. Yeah, if you guys pile up, I might be in trouble. I cheese you? I can. Alright. Not above cheesing through a door. My bad, dude. So let's see, does the fast door thing still work? Oh, no. Ow. Alright, I'm encumbered. Okay. They can't move back as fast as I'd like. Oh yeah, see, like this? That's a problem. Alright, there's more stuff I can loot. But I feel like I should just go talk to him to empty out my inventory. I think I also need to establish some kind of a shelter. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of options around, which is concerning. Can I shut this? Good. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's not Rex's place. This is Bob's. Okay. Well, again, yeah, this is very different than it was before. Okay. I like Bob. All right, Bob, I'll stop robbing you. Oh, hold on. Stop robbing you in a second. Gotta rob you a little bit more first. Is that garbage? Need assistance? Oh. He may... I don't know if that was his voice before, but his voice might be different than what it should be. Because the other thing I did with uh, aligning the traitor factions was I aligned them to uh, all like me. So I think even Wrecked is probably going to have like Joel's voice or something. Because they haven't given unique voice lines to uh, how, they, uh, how they feel about you. Alright bud, what do we got here? Can you just like take a bunch of this off my hands please? Eh, eh. I'm sure some of this is going to have some value eventually, just not right now. Not to me. Yeah, I need to find a place to drop this stuff. I do want to keep like most of this. I don't know. Yeah, I'll keep these. I don't know about these. I'll probably find more ammo. Yeah, didn't make a whole lot of space. Ugh, probably drop some of this stuff too. Alright. So I don't know what... I guess Bob is maybe the vehicle guy? Did I get a cooking pot? I don't think, no, I did not get a cooking pot. I can't afford this one yet. Alright, so we're gonna have to... 
We have to find a place. Relax, relax. We have to go find a place. Oh man. Why do you have three buried supplies? Oh no, see, no. <laughs> that's not that's not gonna fly. I think I'm just gonna have to find a different trader. That is not ideal. Alright, uh Let's take a look real quick where we are. How far did I travel? Not that far. Uh, so yeah, this tells me nothing. Kind of feeling like I need a different trader because these quests are not not working for me. I guess we could do a clear, or uh, well, see, once we go southeast, that'll help me cover some different ground. I think the south is yeah just where I came from. Southeast will at least take me far. I probably won't even be able to complete this today. Would you kindly help me with a little God bless you and good luck? But at least wherever he's sending me, I might be able to set up as a as a home. Did I? I think I stopped looting because I got my inventory was full. So what else do you got? You have a gyrocopter here? Okay. Broken gyrocopter, but a gyrocopter. And actually, yeah, for that matter, let's stop looting. Stop encumbering myself. Oh, we got a new book. Workstation, okay. Oh, I can make the dew collector now. All right. Uh, Clay, you can stay there. I'll take anything I already have a stack of. Do I not have glue? I remember glue being important, so I'll take that at least. Oh yeah, the new forge. I can't exactly remember what the old forge looked like, but I think it was a lot smaller than this. So, it's cool, I guess. Got any other goodies I should check out before I go? Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, I probably need to get out of here. Uh, so, oh boy. I don't want to, like, leave. Uh don't want to leave the door open, but... Alright. Sorry, Bob. i probably stick to the road. Here's my hope. I stick to the road. I'll find civilization. Then I can just shack up someplace. As far as I remember, laying down your bed and the claim block, I think? prevents enemies from spawning in an area. So if I can get that locked down, I might actually be able to carve out a little spot to be safe for myself. Oh boy. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Whoa, 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 slow down. Ow. Ma'am. Yeah, can I at least finish you off? Oh, good, she bled to death. Yeah, this is very far. Sorry, Bob, this quest is not getting done today. But if I could find civilization, I may also be able to find another traitor. That might be a bit of a long shot, but... Yeah, I gotta find better quests. Oh, beautiful, yes. Give me more of those one-shots. Yes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's, uh... That's from just pumping up the attribute, right? Oh, that's just headshot damage. Also, what about... Is it this one? I don't know. I remember that investing in something gave you an increase to... A chance to basically instantly kill them or instantly dismember them. And I guess instantly dismembering the head counts as an instant kill? Ow. Can't keep taking 
taking little hits like that. Oh boy, this is a long road to nowhere with a lot of encumbrance. Alright, let's stop fighting. Actually, we're pretty close to leveling up. Can we... Here, real quick. Here, let's... Next schmuck we run across. Can you level me up, please? Hey, hey, hey. No, not quite. I keep encumbering myself. I should probably eat something. Nobody's dropping any loot. Alright, yeah, real quick. Let's uh, let's go ahead and eat you. And yeah, with some chicken soup. Okay. Slightly less encumbered. I'll take it. Got a trail leading somewhere. Really hoping these roads are going to lead me to an actual town. No, no, no. Although, I think the next kill will level me up. Alright, real quick. Die from bleeding? There we go, thank you. Alright, let's get some space. There we go, more agility. More min-maxing. Thank you, Nomad Difficulty. Alright, let's take it easy on the run. Yeah, can you see what I mean though? These increased spawns. Just, I'm constantly being harassed. No, no, no. I don't want to mess with you at the moment. I'm going to have to clear out my new home. So if you want to follow me, we can have the worst housewarming party ever. Hold on, is that the snow biome? Don't send me to the snow biome. Animal fan, sure. Oh, interesting. It is still the uh, the forest biome, but it cuts through the snow biome. Uh, I'm gonna say no. We're gonna go around the snow biome. Maybe we can run to another log. Potential for some honey. All right, we already got a sign of civilization here. 24-hour truck stop. I don't really know what I'm looking for in terms of like place to live. I just know that I want to be off the ground. Come on. Oh, stamina. Yep. So I don't know how this place is. It looks a little big. Because the other thing I have to consider is uh, how hard is it going to be to clear out. Still no honey. All right. Yeah, we're already pretty busy out here, so I'm going to say no. All right, all right. I did see a chicken bopping around here, though. Where'd you go? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure all this is going to be great to, to loot eventually, but... I'm already quite loaded. Bunch of new vehicles I'm noticing, too. That's cool. Way station. Oh, that's snow biome. Oh, I'm in the snow biome? That's right, I told myself I was gonna go around. And I did not. Alright, well. I'm like right on the edge of it, it looks like, so let's just keep going. Ah, uh, but yes, I am not. I was not able to escape Lumberjack. Ow. Bleed to death, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. 
yeah, 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 gotcha. And we're infected. Uh, okay. Well, now I'm kind of hoping I can find a medicine cabinet somewhere. So where are you having me go? Was that an ambulance? Oh, that might have something for me. Give me a moment. Hold on. Alright, not what I'm looking for, but okay. Alright, this is not the place to be. gotta go. <laughs> oh boy. So I would love to establish something. But uh, I already have a lot of attention. So the mission is... Oh, it's not the cemetery. Okay. Right, let's get a little closer to where we apparently need to be. Try and find a elevated position. Okay, not what I was looking for. Thumb residence. All right, real quick, hold on. Reduce my encumbrance, please. All right, I admit none of these houses look particularly attractive. Did I lose him? Music stopped. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Alright, how about this place? I don't know anything about this place. Seems small enough. How much farther is this? It's actually still pretty far. I don't know, should I keep going? running out of time because he's gonna start running here soon actually yeah I'm pretty sure as soon as these guys start running I'm basically dead how about what Ooh. hi Not good, not good. Oh yeah, I'm toast. Didn't put a bed down anywhere. Hey, everybody's gonna be out running me. Oh! <laughs> yep. Yeah, getting a place to stay that's safe should have been my first priority. And... So what is it? Yeah, that's all they can do, because I didn't put a bed down. Oh boy. And it's nighttime. So I guess I'm going to try to rush my backpack, and that's kind of all I can do. Oh boy. Backpack? So everybody's going to be outrunning me. And I won't be able to see anything. Why can't I place one of these? All right. Field hospital? I mean, that does sound good. I do need a hospital. Actually, I don't need a hospital because I died. Okay. 
Can we chill up here? I don't know how safe this is. As a bird. Okay, so it's not safe. We got a crawler coming after us. Nobody else seems to have noticed us, though. Maybe running to civilization wasn't the best idea. But, alright. Can I... I don't want to set this on top of a tent. This is a terrible idea. Oh, and the bird's over there. Yeah, we need to get someplace else. I don't want to whip out my torch, because then suddenly everybody's going to know where I am. Can I pick this up? There we go. I don't know, maybe one potential strategy is just to drop my bed and or... Uh, what is it, the claim block down somewhere? And then just try to defend that zone, because then enemies won't be spawning in it. Assuming that's how it still works. What are you doing? Oh, he's beating up on the tent. Alright, well I need to go that way. I don't think these, uh... This field shelter is going to be safe. Oh, that's a jumper. Or a spider, whatever they're called. This is not how you shake off rust after being away from a game for a while. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a mad dash to... A house, I think. Like a house is probably going to be the easiest to sort out. Actually, I don't even know what this is. Let's make it work. How about that? So... There we go. I'm going to get a lot of attention making my way over there, but... I think that's just going to be the sacrifice I have to make. Oh, do I accrue, like, injuries from dying or something? Oh, just this? Okay. Oh, hello. Did you notice me? Is that why you're over here? No, you're just bugging out. Okay, cool. Can I... can I make some more of these? Well, not that many. Give me, like, 20. So I was wondering if I could just, like, build my way across there. Because I wanted to go around the fence, but I'm actually thinking going, uh... Oops. Wait, can I not... Does that not work? Alright. I was gonna just walk across the fence, but. Uh oh. oh whose attention did I get? Alright, whatever. I think it's just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to die, get over there, figure something out. Alright, here we go. Yep. Yep. Yeah, come on, everybody. Oops, not what I meant to do. I meant to put it down. Oops, not what I meant to do. Okay. Okay. And we're up here. It's probably not the best spot. I'm just going to make it work. Can I... please? Alright. Is that really the best we can do? Okay. Please unencumber me. Alright. Another knife guy book. Alright. Totally missed that. Alright, so I'm just going to be trying to kill these guys and just dying over and over again for a while, so uh, bear with me, I guess. Uh, actually, let me get the bones at least. Bones? Bones? Oh, there we go. Alright.
grateful. Grateful that it seems to be just crawlers in that one guy so far. I'm sure I've got someone else's attention. There's no way they're going to let me get away with just that. Oh, right. Okay, well. Someone's beating up something. Nice, thank you. Sure. Hey, bud. Closed. No, don't. Don't break the door, don't break the door. There we go. Ma'am. I would like to stop hitting the door. Oh, you're a bad guy. You're a real bad guy. Okay. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Okay. Uh, cannot repair that, so hopefully that just stays... Oh boy, alright. Yeah? Ma'am? You're not dead. Okay. Alright, what's going on here? Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, there's a hole in the garage door. All right, and a hole back there. All right. Bathroom safe. Kinda. Still here walking around. I'm wondering if there's a ladder or something that goes up. Okay, there is. There's probably somebody in here I can't see. Oh yeah, hello. following me. Can't really see, but I think we basically have the upstairs secured. Got anything good? Or books? A better knife? That was worth it. Uh, take you out. Oh, that's right, you get more mod slots as you upgrade. Nice, alright. 
better knife, thank you. Oh, I should have compared them, but all right, whatever. I guess what I want to do from here is build a way across. I'm actually amazed I managed to secure anything. Oh, all right, all right. I still got my blocks. Can we just... Oh, hello. How did you get up here? What? Did I not? I guess he stood on top of it and just jumped. All right. All right, can we... Can I build on top of this? Oh, there we go. All right. Oh yeah, I was going to say, was I mistaken or was there another box over here? And we'll just chop our way through that wall. Whew. I gotta say, this is about the intro I expected. Sledgehammer crafting. Okay. Some steel. Uh oh. No! Why? 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 Oh, there's multiple spiders. Excellent. My favorite. Uh, Alright, well, I'm dead. As expected. Alright, let's get to a place where it's going to be easier to retrieve my dead body. I'm over here. Hey, bud. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is about the intro I expected. So you know what? Goodness, that sounds horrible. <laughs> How about we uh we cap it there as a <laughs> first little foray back into seven days, and I guess I will come back at another time, and we can continue to uh, try not to drown in zombies. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to wait. I don't know when they stop running. I think it's four. I'm going to have to wait till four, and then we'll resume trying to clear out this place. All right. Uh, I will see you next time. Take care.